welcome back to my channel my name is Joe Redin from Nergy Style so this video is how to change your background your photo shoot background your shooting background for your YouTube channel or whatever so I, uh, I had a, wall, a green wall and a wall sticker on one side for those who follow my video you can see on my previous videos and I have like a white carpet on the ground like a furry white carpet on the ground so I'm trying to change around. I want to do something different, something simple, something less colorful. So we could focus most on the, more on the design, not on the background. So I purchased this from Amazon. I don't know if I want to use it because it's like off-white. This is off-white. I don't know if I should stay with the brown, the natural wood floor, or I should go for this. So comment on this comment section below and tell me what you think about this. If we should use this one or we should just stick to what we have this is like off-white uh wood ground wood floor sticker today's video is mostly about my wall tie my wall stickers my 3d wall panel sorry my 3d wall panel this is today's video focus on this so this is what we're going to work on today we're going to put this on the wall to give me like a more stylish and simple classic look on my wall not too bright not too too much you're just gonna see the details because the, the panels are white they're the same color on the wall so all, all you're gonna see is just like the details on the wall yes that's what i'm focusing on and uh oh my artificial flower vase i bought i purchased this from amazon too it was like 160 something now if i'm not mistaken so i didn't I'll open it up, make it look more beautiful once I'm done with the wall and I'm ready to shoot something. So this one was purchased on Amazon for 120, $160 something dollars. So today's video, I will have two options. I have my uh, double-sided Gorilla tape glue, and I also have the nail, the liquid nail. It's like it's a glue make a nail i'm gonna use either one of them i'm gonna use both of them let's see which one works well let's one which one is perfect to apply uh panels on your wall is it the glue nail liquid glue or is the double sided gorilla so everybody know about the gorilla glue it's really really glowing whatever you glow it. so we're working on a 3d panel i just want to take out some from the box to show you how you look like this is how they look like. That's a good side. So I'm gonna apply. I'll start like from the top area, area right here. I'm gonna apply. I believe it's three. One, two, three. Again, it's just like details. It's not shouty. It's not. It's not much. It's just like the details on the wall. Because I want everyone to focus on my design, not the background. So this is our panel. Oops. All right. I'll start from the top. But since I'm the one shooting, I don't have nobody to. I don't have a photographer to like hold it and direct it up to show you what I'm doing up. So the top, I'm going to do it off the camera. But when I get to the middle part where you can really see it well, that's that's where I'm going to show you with the tape and with the glue. Let's see which one holds better for our panels it's like she's 33 wall ties panels that we have in each box we have enough because i'm not putting i'm not covering the whole wall so we're gonna put this one on the side it's heavy guys this is real good deal right here oh the price of this i think it was a hundred and change and i bought it on sale for 80 something dollar i'm not so sure i'll check it out and put on the uh, description Oops, you heard that sound. So, I need a chair, I need a pen, and I need a chair to stand, sit up there, stand up there, and mark where I'm gonna put my panel. Let me just take this air freshener out. I need this, because that's my ring light. That's right there. So I'm gonna go ahead with one tie, and uh, mark my areas up there, just a little dot for the pen, pen or pencil, just a little dot. I know I'm covering it. And after I take this off, I probably may change the color of my wall or repaint the wall. So I'm just gonna put a little dot from here, here, 
here, here, just a little dot to show me the frame where I have to put the wall ties. So, I'll do that off camera on the top, and when I get to the center part, that's when I'm gonna show you how I'm applying it. See, we're gonna do it together, okay? All right, I have an update. As you can see, I know I said I'm gonna go ahead in the background and uh, do the top, and then when I come down, I will tell you which one works better. We're gonna do the difference between the liquid nail and the uh, Gorilla Mountain double-sided tip. But I wanted to, I was starting with this. So in the process, I said, let me just read the notice, read the directions. And the directions is telling me I need, um, I need to place the cartridge into caulk gun i don't have this caulk gun and um i'm gonna skip the glue part so i did not use the glue we're not using the glue for our tutorial today and i, I thought it was just gonna be simple like crazy glue cut it up here bust the hole and then go ahead and just press it like toothpaste or push it from the bottom you know that's what i thought it would be but uh no it's a whole process like that's like construction uh, a carpentry a 101 full-time 100 percent kind of job i'm not i'm learning so i'm gonna uh study and make more research on how to use this and do more research on how to use this and uh we're gonna stick to a double-sided tip this was some magic guys listen this glue this double-sided tape, Gorilla Gobble, uh, gobble. <laughs> Gorilla double-sided tape is the bomb. Okay, as you see, I started, like, I put, like, two stripes. After marking, I put, like, stripes, and I'm just applying. Make sure, you see, my designs have different corners, different shapes. You see how I try to match it together? And my friend, this glue, once you press the panel on the double-sided tape you have to forget about it because that's it because the first one i felt like i made a mistake after i had pressed it down on the double-sided tape and then i wanted to, wanted to do some adjustment so <laughs> we don't do adjustment with this that's it once it's glued it's glued it's like uh i'm talking about nails now it's like when you do your nails you use the uv lamp using the gel the gel glue to apply your false nail and then as soon as you hit under there you just pass it under the lead lamp that's it like it's glue you cannot come back to it if it's on one side you're gonna have to deal with those one side nails or you dip in acetone and take it out so let's go back to our wall <laughs> look at how i did the top this is the tip so as i said i went ahead and used um a pen a pencil whatever you have and mark it so i had marked it i have like little marks just at the edge i'm marking here and i'm marking there at the edge come here do the same thing mark it i mark it right there mark it right there i'm moving it like this and i'm marking like right there and i'm marking right there and i went forward like doing it down and down onto at the bottom so I got my marks on the wall to like where my stuff is going to end. There, where's the mark for this edge? Let me see, I don't think I have a mark for this edge. So I'm marking the mark for this edge like this. I hope I'm still on the, you can still see me, I'm still on the address, like the French people say. I have to make sure it's straight.
thing. Okay, so I've got a mark because I have some marks that I put. So I'm gonna put a, a long line on this marks, like centralize it. Let's say my mark is here, I centralize the tip in between the markers. This tape is going to glue both panels. Like you see, I put one tape here, but I glue the upper one, and then the lower part of the part, or the lower part that's up, the or lower part of the glue is going to hold the next panel into the next one, into the next one. It's like a continuous thing. So I'm gonna place my tape, not like, not exactly on the on the pen dot to begin with. I'll bring the thing closer so you can see. I'm gonna give it like a little spacing. Okay, I'm directing my tip where I want it to be because if I don't do so, I hope I have enough and it's finish this middle part, guys. <laughs> I need more tape. Cutting it right there. I'm not going to like to the edge of the pen. I'm giving it like one eighth or one quarter inch. I'm not going to the edge or else it's going to be visible. Like right here, I have to cut that out. So I'm gonna have to go to the edge. All right, let's see if we have enough for at least one line. Oh boy, this thing, yeah. Take out the top. I'm going to the next line, which I doubt I have enough. So I'm gonna go, let me start here, because give it more space as I said and then dragging my tape in the center like this See the way I put my tape. The tape is in between the marks. You see, this is my marks. I left some space and then I centralized it so I could glue two panels the top of one panel and the other bottom of the bottom of the first panel and the top of the first the, the next panel can fit on this glue. So that's why I, I try to centralize in the middle of my marks like that. So now, the next step is to take out this, try to pull out the tip that's on the other side of the double-sided. It's a little tricky to do. But once you get it, that's it. Yep. I'm taking the second. Right there. Taking it off completely. Once I took that off, let me back up my camera so I could apply the panel so you can see. I know it looks a little messy the second round on my panel, but I'm gonna make it work. So I'm going with this. So again, you have to match up your designs. I'll do some tight. Okay, to have a little space in between. See? So, see what I'm trying to create? Make sure I create a design. Because if I put it like that, you see this is bigger than this other square, they don't match. So but when I flip it around, it gives you like a design. They match, the sizes match. So what you're doing is be design aware. Be aware that you're creating a design, you're not just putting stuff on the wall. Try to bring it to close to each other as much as you can before you tap it down. My next again, matching the designs. This matches, this matches, and they match here, and they up your matches too. So you're creating your designs as you're putting them together. 
not just putting stuff together without creating a design. So this one I have to be careful and push it up because from the top I had a mistake. So I got my mistake. As you can see, I ran out of the Gorilla tape, the double-sided uh, Gorilla glue tape. And um, I had to buy more the next day to finish the bottom of the wall. So make sure you have enough, depending on how much you want to cover the wall with the um, panel. So have enough. I buy at least two to three rolls of the glue so you can have enough to cover everything and but just a little bit goes a long way a long way you don't have to like cover the whole part like i did partial at the end when i saw that i was running out but i had more tape and i finished the bottom so <laughs> that's why i was wondering why the thing keeps bouncing back to me because i didn't take out the tape pay attention like don't be like me all right now it's going to go I just did the same mistake I was telling you have to pay attention. I didn't match up with this. Although it match here, but it didn't match up up. Let's see if we can take it out, which I doubt it. No, we cannot. So we, we're a little off here, but that still look like something. So we're gonna continue because we can now switch around. We done. Voila, that is the finished look of a panel wall. That's the finished look. You like it? I hope it inspires somebody, give somebody an idea on how to like decorate your wall, make it look different. I kind of like it. I love it. I don't know about you watching. If you like it, make sure you hit thumb up if you like it and comment if you need to understand anything that was not clear in the video and uh, I love it I I like the finished look I like the finished look so when I come forward with my, uh, my flowers here so I'm loving my background I'm loving everything so I hope this helped you and uh, any question, please feel free to comment on the comment section below. And uh, I'll try my best to put the the equipment, the stuff I use to produce this on the comment section on the prizes in on Amazon.com. So thank you for watching to the end. And uh, I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.